And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. Hey everyone, this is Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, and I have another video here on the Titera Radio. You might be looking at this because you're interested in a DMR handheld. This is the MD380 DMR by Titera. This is a, a TYT handheld. This thing is one of my favorites of all the handhelds I have. The audio quality of these things are just superb. I mean, compared to a Yesu or an Icom I have, man, these things sound great. I can't believe how the speaker and the audio quality of these things are, are over something like my Yesus. But uh, anyways, this is the MD380 on the right, and this uh, the last video I did showed about how to program it, some of the features, uh, and what it does. Both of these are available at RadioDiddy.com or RadioDiddy.com. Link is in the description, R-A-D-I-O-D-D-I-T-Y.com. Um, so the MD380 and the MD390 uh, are both UHF. 400 to 470 megahertz DMR handhelds. They will do analog and digital. And uh, there are code plugs, many code plugs available online for these. The difference in the two, the MD390 is submersible. It's completely waterproof. You can notice that the size is a little bit different. They did use a different uh, body structure to uh, be successful with the IP67 rating. In fact, if you look at the side, it is a little bit larger, a little bit thicker. but with these radios, I love the way they feel in the hand. They are solid. This is not like a Bofung. This is actually more like a pro professional or commercial radio. It is very solid in the hand. It's got a great uh, color display screen on here. Um, but this video really won't focus on the programming and how to you know, look at all the features. We're going to go outside and... Uh, <laughs> You might like some of the waterproof testing I do on this. I really see if it's submersible and what happens uh, in different elements of weather and such. So keep keep tuned and you'll see the uh, the test results. Uh, but you'll notice here on the left side or right side, notice this is where the speaker mic uh, plug normally is with the rubber snap-in uh, cover. This one has the same port but it's got a screw on here with a, a sealed compartment. So make sure that's tight to avoid the water getting into the radio. There is a waterproof membrane that's built into the radio to cover the speaker and the mic so water cannot get in. The battery compartment is actually really, uh, really solid, okay? Um, it does have the rubber gasket in here, as well as, or on the battery, excuse me, rubber gasket here and around the terminal. So it doesn't, it tells you right here, IP67, no disassembling. If you do take this radio apart, you're going to ruin the IP67 rating. It's not designed to be taken apart. You don't need to take it apart if there's a problem. All right, um, so the battery does snap on there nice and tightly with the clip on the bottom. You know it's on there tight, okay? It does come with the same features, uh, accessories with the antennas, the belt clip, and uh, programming cable and such. So one thing I do want to show though, and, and you can see with the size comparison on uh, the difference in size, but overall it does feel like a very professional radio. Um, to see all the features, check out my MD380 video, but to see the waterproofing on this one, check out this video here. Uh, one thing I do want to show you, I think now that I have two of these, is I could actually, uh, real quick, if I go into the menu here, all right, I just want to show you the messages. This is cool because when I was in Dayton, Ohio for Dayton Ham Fest this year, a couple weeks ago, uh, a l <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many people were walking around with these radios on simplex or FRS frequencies and using these uh, in digital format to talk across the, uh, the convention center to their party, uh, people where they were with. They do sound great. They, uh, the digital over the analog in that kind of environment with that much RF definitely would make an improvement with that much uh, radio going on. So they, a lot of people, I've seen them, and I was asking them, how do you like that? What do you think of it? They love them. Um, and, and at the price, you can't beat it. But uh, what's cool is if you were to have something like this in an FRS or a uh, field day or ham, uh, hamvention um, environment like that, is you could actually write messages, text messages. Um, for instance, I'll go here to write, and I'll just put uh, test. All right, and I can send it. We'll just uh, go to contacts, send it to one, two, three, four. Look at that. 
You want to read it? Read it later. We'll hit read. Test. I, I couldn't show that before because I didn't have two of these, but that's so cool. If you were at Hamfest, you can you can just text your buddy. Hey, uh, go down the, to the arena. Uh, check me out at at uh, High Gain or MFJ or something, and you don't have to talk if it's too noisy. I love that. That's great. Um, you can do that with other modes, yes. DMR or the Titeras are not the only ones that can do that, but it's just so easy to get on there and text. Um, so let's get to the uh, the water testing on these things. So if you're out in the garden and you're watering it, so if I'm outside and I'm watering the garden, <laughs> so the handheld is waterproof. In case it starts raining, like that. Out with the rain, no problem. 40, 40 mile an hour winds, no problem. Out of the rain, AJ4 YBI, in the rain. Uh, testing, are you there, Michelle? Your lovely wife speaking. Okay. I'm going in. Stand by. Underwater test. Hello, testing. I can hear you full throttle. We're on FRS radio frequencies again on UHF, so my wife is going to get her ham license soon. Uh, honey, tell everybody when you're getting your ham license. Soon. Okay, soon. I'm going in again. Testing. Can hear you loud and clear. Wow, very good. Uh, this is uh, a great waterproof DMR radio. Even better than the uh, waterproof Bofung because I it's still loud and clear even after uh, there's no water being trapped inside the diaphragm here for the speakers. So let's do it one more time. I could really leave it in there for longer if I wanted to, but uh, should be good enough to make the point. <clears throat> How about one last time? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Perfect. Thank you, honey. And uh, there you go. Waterproof MD390 by Titera. You're welcome. Stay tuned, we have the uh, MD390 with GPS coming. We'll make that video here shortly. 7-3 from KJ4YZI. This has been another exciting amateur radio video presented by Ham Radio Concepts. Subscribe today on YouTube. Search Ham Radio Concepts, all one word.